Alright guys, it is a cold, miserable midwinter day here in May. That would be, uh, I think we're at Wednesday, May 5th, 2021 here at Bugs in a Jar Farm outside of Ithaca, New York. Uh, glad to be back off the road. So, I did not even realize this. That two days ago, we passed a milestone. We hit our third birthday. At, was it our third birthday? We we're starting our third year. I guess it was our second birthday. Good Lord. Or was it our third birthday? Anyway, we had a birthday on Monday. I did not even realize that. But it's good to be going with another year here at Collapse Chronicles. And we will be bringing a few surprises to the channel here in the uh, next uh, week or two be letting you know about. But since this is the lead-off chronicle of the collapse of whatever year this is, the third or fourth year, we're going to start off with some good news. Now, I've already broadcast this good news uh, before, I believe, but the good news just keeps getting better. And this is the third biggest story on the planet today on the mainstream media news. Where is our Collapse Chronicles? Uh, little dog, I think I might let you go here. Oops. We need to uh, get the Collapse Chronicles insignia back out. All right, take it away. Mainstream media and brighten up my mood on this gloomy day. This is uh, from, uh, well, of course, my computer has now eaten the story. Good old Associated Press. <clears throat> U.S. birth rate falls to lowest point in more than a century. The U.S. birth rate fell uh, I love this. Uh, okay, guys, here, here we go. This is what I love about the mainstream media. I understood a century was 100 years, but apparently not. I am learning some. I like to learn one new thing a day on the mainstream media. So we have the headline, U.S. birth rate falls to the lowest point in more than a century. And then the first sentence, the U.S. birth rate fell 4% last year the largest single year decrease in nearly 50 years according to a government report being released today. So a century now is 50 years, but anyway, still good news. <clears throat> the birth rate dropped for moms of every major race and ethnicity and in nearly every age group Falling, okay, falling to the lowest point since federal health officials started tracking it more than a century ago. So I'm a little bit confused already with those two sentences. So uh, we're going to go with the second one. Births have been declining in younger women for years as many postponed motherhood and had smaller families. Birth rates for women in their late 30s and in their 40s have been inching up, but not last year. All right, this is uh, this is Brady Hamilton, <coughs> lead author of the new report coming out from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. I, I love how the CDC uh, is the one releasing this report. I used to have a bumper sticker that said pregnancy is a sexually transmitted disease. I need to get that, uh, that bumper sticker back on my gas sucking truck. So yes, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention talking about the birth rates. I, I love the irony, the unintentional irony. Okay, said Brady, the fact that you saw declines in births 
even for older moms, is quite striking. Yes, yeah, striking, and it's good news. The CDC report is based on a review of more than 99% of birth certificates issued last year. The findings echo a recent AP analysis, which I went over a couple of months ago, of 2020 data from 25 states showing how births had fallen during the corona panic, which we're going to uh, talk about here. The pandemic no doubt contributed to last year's big decline, experts say, anxiety about the corona panic and its impact on the economy likely caused many couples to think that having a baby was a bad idea. Having a baby is a bad idea regardless of a corona panic, but anyway, thank you, corona panic. Uh, now, they're already making estimates uh, that the 2021 birth rate will by far be the lowest. They're, they're predicting uh, in this country alone that 500,000 fewer babies will be born thanks to the economic knock-on effects of the corona panic, uh, the lockdowns and everything. Uh, so it sounds like the corona panic and the economic lockdowns will probably keep about as many babies from being born as old sick people have died. And so three cheers for the corona panic. Uh, the, the number one way the corona panic is helping this planet is by getting more and more uh, people to uh, need to remember what channel I'm on here, to come to their senses and realize that breeding is not a good idea. But of course, uh, you know, with these figures from this year, many of the 2020 pregnancies began well before the corona panic. Uh, CDC researchers are now working up on a follow-up report to better parse out how the decline unfolded. And that's what we can look forward to is that headline next year. So what were some of the highlights from this good news report? Okay, <clears throat> about 3.6 million babies were still born, not, not still born, you know, uh, about 3.6 million babies were born in the U.S. last year, which is down from about 3.75 million in 2019, so about 15 million less babies born last year than uh, in the year before, and compare that to when births were booming in 2007, you know, the year before the 2008 economic collapse, the U.S. hit its high uh, of 4.3 million uh, little planet-eating bundles of joy were born in 2007, so what are we 700,000 fewer babies born last year than in 2007. And when you figure all that out, the U.S. birth rate dropped to about 56 births per 1,000 women of childbearing age, which is the lowest rate on record. That rate is half of what it was in the early 1960s. And of course, I was born in 1959, so we have one half the birth rate that we did uh, <clears throat> 60 years ago. Uh, looking at teenage pregnancies, the birth rate for 15 to 19-year-olds dropped 8% 
from 2019, the teenage pregnancy rate has fallen almost every year since 1991. Looking at it by ethnicity, <clears throat> birth rates fell 8% for Asian American women, 3% for Hispanic women, 4% for white and black women, and 6% for American Indians. They still use the term American Indians, which is fine with me. Uh, and the bottom line, the current generation is getting further away from having enough children to replace itself. That is the single uh, warmest and fuzziest and most hopium-filled sentence I have read in the year 2021. The current generation is getting further away from having enough children to replace itself. The U.S. once was among only a few developed countries with a fertility rate that ensured that each generation you know, had more children than, uh, than people dying, um, that each generation had enough children to replace it. About a dozen years ago, that estimated rate was 2.1 kids per U.S. woman, but that number two has been sliding and last year dropped to about 1.6 uh, kids born per woman or per couple, the lowest rate on record. So don't tell me you never hear any good news on the planet, but uh, we're going, I'm going to, since I'm in such a good mood today and there will be no gardening today, we're going to check in with our old friend Deepak Chopra of all people, <clears throat> with his new uh, essay, To Survive Our Technological Transformation, Civilization Needs a Cognitive Revolution. But we're going to make that another chronicle looking into the cognitive revolution to survive the technological revolution coming up in the next couple of decades. So I will be right back with that one in a couple of minutes. But other than that, happy birthday, guys. Thank you for sticking with me. I noticed for the first time yesterday, I, I finally came back up to 4,450 uh, subscribers, which is exactly where I was uh, a year and two months ago before the corona panic hit and uh, I lost about 200 subscribers. Uh, I see that we have gained 30 new subs in the past 28 days. Welcome aboard. Spread the doom and gloom. I will be right back with Deepak. Bye guys.